I don't know if you can hear that. That's a wind turbine. It's uh, insanely windy out there, and uh, I think I'm actually going to have to shut the thing down. And uh, not, I don't really need the energy. Number one, um, I can use some of the heat, but uh, you know, on a grid up situation, uh, sometimes it's better to uh, do the safety thing than to uh, you know run your equipment for no reason. And uh, we'll go downstairs and look at the amps and all that and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and I'm also going to show you uh, how much heat the thing's putting off or how much heat the components that go with it are putting off uh, I guess if I had a really quality um, charge controller or actually the whole setup you know something made you know mine's like a China uh, wind turbine I can't remember who made it um, but uh, if it were up to me, I would uh, I'd be all solar, and I'm not going to be real surprised if there's not a wind turbine on that roof, and uh, I go to uh, box the thing away for uh, a rainy day. So uh, let's go check it out. Oh yeah, it's windy out there. Um, this thing's actually going up to 50 amps every now and then. Um, it still doesn't make me a big wind turbine fan, but it is cool when it's cranking. But uh, it is windy out there. It's cranking, that's for sure. Definitely works for when the batteries uh, need a little help. Uh, both freezers are on there, and uh, we're at 13.1. Uh, and uh, this thing's actually starting to go into a uh, diversion load. It's uh, charging a little bit too hard. You see that needle start to jump around like that. It's uh, it's windy for sure. But uh, yeah, I'll stick with the solar if I had my choice. But sometimes the wind is fun. The wind is nothing unusual for us here on the Outer Banks, and. Uh, <clears throat> Part that concerns me is uh, here's the charge controller for the wind turbine. Let me put a infrared probe on that. 142.8 degrees. And this is not the part that's supposed to get hot. This is a diversion load, and we've been going into a diversion load, and we uh, measure that. That's at 106.3. Um, now, whether it's dangerous or not, I have no idea, but uh, you know, I'm home, so I could leave it running, but. You know, we're fully charged, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut the thing down, even though it's cranking it out. And right now, it's uh, diverting to the heat. That's why it's bouncing around like that. And uh, I don't know. The uh, solar stuff doesn't worry me at all. Of course, uh, most of it's American-made and uh, much more quality than uh, just Chinese stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Now look at the wind speed. No wonder, huh? But uh, this thing doesn't have any way to control itself except for me to shut it down. Uh, otherwise, it just endures those loads. So I do have a break from the wind turbine and uh, set it up and shut it down. It's, uh, it's crazy. It's scary. All right, so I went ahead and shut the wind turbine down. A little scary to me. Uh, that's the charge controller. There's the temperature of it, 137.2 degrees. Now I understand this thing's being worked to its limits, but uh, you know I'm still not comfortable with that. There's the diversion load. Let me reset that, and it's at uh, almost 97 degrees. I could switch that over to my water heater, but um, you know I uh, I like the solar. Of course, uh, the wind's a great complement, and. Uh, you know, if we're in an off-grid situation or something like that, uh, I would throw that thing back up on the roof. But uh, I think I'm going to take it down when I get my new solar panels or, you know, the rest of them. Uh, I'll probably just take the wind turbine down and uh, just run on solar. And if the time ever comes, maybe I'll uh, put the wind turbine back up. But uh, I must say I'm, I'm not a real big wind fan unless you're... Uh, in an area or you know you're capable of putting one way up in the air and uh, an industrial one something that's meant for continuous duty another video that I have to put together again I didn't realize I had taken it down and I no longer have it 
but uh, I'm going to try to put together another video on the uh, geothermal heat pump and uh, how mine works. I'm also working on uh, putting together a video on uh, part three on the uh, generator, uh, but I got a few more things I need to do to it. Uh, add a uh, a heat source for it, you know, where I can harness some of the heat off the engine, and uh, I'll try to get that coming to you as well. Uh, I know I promised a, uh, a number three video, but uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I work a lot. It's all I can do. Um, so you guys have a great night. We'll see you next time. I'm out of here.